What a day, glorious day, yes, yes, we. And uh, I've heard about it all my life, but this day it comes, we'll see about it. And so that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go see about it one day. And so I'm glad that the Lord made it possible for the Bible said we didn't count nobody else. That's right. It don't matter how rich you was born, it don't matter. How poor That's right, you were born, whether you were white, black, yeah. dark, red, or pink, he made a way to do whosoever. Amen. 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 When he said right. whosoever, he didn't just say this bunch, That's this right. bunch That's can't right. go. I don't right. think he's oh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> not far as man, God predestinated the plan, but God did not predestinate That's them. right. That's right. He called some. Paul was one of them. He was the chosen vessel. But that still brought the plan of God into effect. When it come to you and I, he said, let whosoever will. Amen. Drink of the water of life free. I'm glad that I am a whosoever. Amen. 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 May not be counted much in this Come on, as far as the world. I am a whosoever. Yeah, amen. So I'm, amen. I'd, rather, I'd rather be a whosoever. Yeah. And, and uh, be part and tied up into this world. And so I, I thought sometimes I'm one of them R knots. You know what R knot is? The Bible said these are they that are not tangled in yeah, the world. That's yeah, right. That's what I want to be. I want to be an R knot. Yeah. I don't want nothing to do with this ungodly in this world. So in uh, Genesis chapter number 50, verse we of the scripture. Yeah, but Lord, Lord, Lord is laid on, on my heart. And we pray for me that God would help me. I'm sitting at the house last night. Reading a little bit, and my mind kept going back to this. And so, the Lord certainly knows what you and I need here tonight. And I don't know nobody's need, don't know nobody's heart, and I'm glad that I don't. Yeah. Sometimes, to be honest with you, I wish I didn't even know my own self. Yeah. Uh, well, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> the things that you've done you right. in your life, and you know that, bless you. Well, when I, when I look at my life, and what I've done, I cannot point fingers at nobody no, else. I know the Lord forgave me for that. Yes. And things like that. But look, folks, I'm I'm a man just like you. Yeah. Human right. just like you. And and I have failed. I have yeah, failed too. But you know what I've done? Yeah, come on. I got my heart right. Amen. 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 So that's what you gotta do. Get your heart right. <laughs> And don't stay in bond. That's right. And so, but in Genesis chapter number 50, you pray for me that the Lord would help me. And I'll certainly do the very best that I can to give you my heart. And let's see. I guess I'll uh, start reading, reading about verse number 15. Genesis chapter 50, and verse number 15. And when Joseph's brethren saw that their father was dead, they said, Joseph will. Her adventure hate us and will certainly requite us all the evil which we done unto him. Yeah. And they said, sent a messenger unto Joseph, saying, Thy father did command before he died, saying, So shall ye say unto Joseph, Forgive, I pray thee now, Bless the Lord. trespass of thy brethren and their sin, for they did, they did unto thee evil and now we pray thee forgive the tre the trespass of the servants of the God of thy father and Joseph wept Bless and when he spake unto him his and his brethren also went and fell down before his face and said behold we be thy servants and Joseph said unto them fear not for I am in the place of God but as for you, ye all, ye thought evil against me, oh, but good. God meant it unto good, Amen. to bring to pass as it as it is this day to save much people alive. Now therefore, fear ye not; I will nourish you and your little ones. And he comforted them and spake kindly unto them. And Joseph dwelt in Egypt and. Egypt, he and his father's house, and Joseph lived a hundred and ten years. Now that's all that I feel like reading. Yes, and you pray for me that I pray the Lord would help me a few minutes. Yes, and 
I certainly, I brother, I appreciate, I brother, the Lord, and yeah. all that He's uh, done for me. And I was going to turn to Exodus and read one verse, but I don't know where it's at. It'd be all right. And so uh, I'd like to I maybe just talk a few minutes while the Lord, I maybe uh, just to help, help me. If he don't help me, I'll be as our brother old Paul said, our brother just as one that I beateth the That's iron. It. And so uh, just a few minutes, I, our brother, Bless him, I, I'd like right. to preach on I, just a simple little Paul, and I'd like to preach on I know of a place. Now, our brother, the Bible said here, and I got my thought right there, how where he said, I'm in the place of God. Verse number 19. And the Bible said that, and I'm just going to hit the eye spots yeah, on, and I'll get our brother to where I'm going. And how the Bible said that, our brother, how your, our brother, that, how Joseph, our brother was. Uh, he was my brother, a son, my brother yeah, of Jacob. Yeah. I've been brother, I've one of the other sons. They were two, I believe it was. My yeah. brother Adam, my brother Rachel, Benjamin, I and Joseph. He said, right, and, yeah. I, and the Bible said that I joke that. How Jacob, how brother loved Joseph how more than he did how brother all of his sons. Yeah. Ain't that right? And how the Bible said that his brothers, how brother they were jealous. And the Bible said that how brother that how Jacob had made brother how him how the co brother ain't that right? And, uh, and they call it brother how the co brother. Of many colors. Yeah. And the Bible said that his brethren hated him the more. Mm -hmm. And the Bible said that our brother old Joseph had a dream. Mm -hmm. And the Bible said that old Joseph rose up high in the morning. Mm -hmm. And he told his brother, mm -hmm. our brother and his mother and his dad yeah. about the dream. Mm -hmm. And he said, I had a dream. How yeah. that we were binding. Mm -hmm. How sheaves in the field. Yeah. In other words, we. And they were out there working. And he said, I got to notice it. How that your sheaves. I've been reverence my yeah. sheep. Yeah. And the Bible said, How that they got mad the more. And the Bible said, But he yeah. He dreamed another dream. And the Bible said, How that he I had a dream. My brother got the sun. And the moon, I've been bowed to him. Yeah. And the eleven stars, I've been the top of his brother. And the sun and his moon, I represent his mother and his dad. Amen. And the Bible said they hated him the more. And so, how we all know the story. How they threw him in a pit. Amen, brother. And they just, I sold him. Out to this right. And the Bible said, my brother, I let them drink him down there. Right. And he was out there in Potiphar's house. And we all know the story. He got lied on. And they put him in prison. They terrorized his brother. And I baked him down there. But anyhow, I'll just let me move on. Amen. And the Bible said, my brother, how how anyhow, those seven years, and we all are to know all the scriptures. Anyway, if we read the Bible, if you don't, shame on you. We can't rise. And so, brother, how the king set him up over all the providences, my brother, all the land. And the Bible said, how that there was seven years of fame, of fame and brother, and seven years of plenty. My brother, they laid up. My brother of the seven years of plenty, so that they would be able, my brother, to make provision for the seven years of fame. They tear out a drought. Amen, brother. And his brother come down there. And they said, How we come to buy corn? And they hadn't seen him in a long time. 
I didn't even know him, didn't recognize him. They terrorized him in the Bible, sir. Amen. Then he finally revealed himself to him. And he began to cry. Amen. When he done that, his brothers, I think I was scared. I thought now, surely, he's going to kill us. Amen. For the evil. All that we done to him. Oh, when he's a young boy. But he told his brother. He said, don't worry about it, boys. He said, you thought you done evil to me. You thought you sold me out. He said, oh, but it was all, brother. In God's plan. Had you not done that, y'all would have starved to death. I went to starve to death. My brother. Oh, God. Uh, I said, where is it? I'm 
Praise the Lord. Getting in the place. Brother. The Lord. Bless you, Lord. He, brother, he's a one. How, brother, to be able to use you tonight. That's right. Ain't that right? Yeah. Yeah. How, brother, but you see the Lord. He can't use us with him. How, brother, we want to give half the world or self. Let a brother try to be with God, too. That's right. Ain't that right? That's right. Like I just preach what I preach everywhere. That's right. Man, brother, I preach. My brother, I preach his message everywhere. I Maybe not the same God, but the same gospel. Ain't that right, brother? Amen. The Bible said we committed to evils. That's how
next work we still got to do. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Get to the place. Yeah. Go. Now I preached a lot of meetings, Father. I, I have. I preached a lot of meetings. But I ain't preached but just the one or two in the Bible. I'm telling you, God's honest truth. I ain't going to lie to you. Hey, Amen, brother. That's what we call a four or five night meeting that ain't revival. That's right, Chris. Hey, Amen. Hey, we got time for revival tomorrow. Hey, Amen. Hey, That's out. right, Chris. I got to work. Got to make that money. Come on, Chris. Hey, 
me, Lord. It's like getting my little young boys to work with. And, uh, I just tell them young fellas like it is. I, I don't tell them nothing. No, come on now. They tell me I ain't nothing but a smart aleck. I probably am. <laughs> it comes to my mind, I say it. I, sometimes I don't mean to be right. you know, rude or mean, but it comes to my mind, I say it. And, uh, I'm like a way of days. He said one time he's preaching. One of those young boys I work Tuesday, he's, he's a preacher, and he said, that somebody's just saying, what are you doing, Ed? He said, I'm stomping every place he sticks his head. <laughs> Ain't that right? <laughs> and when I told some of them young boys, I said, look at you. You ain't worried. You, you wasn't working the pie factory. It's a shame. It is. It is. Yeah. You know why, brother? We fight in the place. I, I brother, we quit raising our boys. Oh, yeah. Like we boys. Yeah. And the little girls to be little girls. Amen, right. brother. Instead of raising our boys and the young men, we raised them in the big horse. I told that little young boy at work, he puffed up at me and looked at me and looked like a mule eating a song <laughs> Had that little old little puckered out and I said, I like to care less, but if you like it or not. Say <laughs> so it no more like this. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Him will want to make the same, same thing I'm going to make. Right. Come on. Me over there driving nails. Come on, Chris. Bless him. Yeah. Elbows are hurting. My knees are hurting. Yeah. Well, I've caught all of them all them years. And we're there over like this. Yeah, yeah, you know what yeah. I told him? I said, you know somebody? I said, if work was water, you couldn't pour it on me. Yeah. Ain't that right? Yeah. That's what it does. My brother too sorry to work. Everybody wants a hundred dollars. Everybody wants a twenty dollar bill. It ain't worth much, I'll tell you that. Yeah. It may it probably it won't even hardly get you a big Mac yeah. bill. Yeah. Ain't that right? Yeah. Everybody wants money. Yeah. And brother, but nobody wants to do nothing to get it. I'm glad the Lord set it up this way. I am that separates them. Yeah, it yeah. separates. Yeah. Here's what it does. He's an old preacher. He's an old, well, he's an old preacher. And I told him, I said to be preaching. I told him he'd been preaching to say about 67, 68 years. And I told him, if you ain't got no more Bible knowledge now, there's something wrong with you. Yeah, yeah. Hey man, he's talking about the boys said they'd come through the part of the country where I live in. Yeah. Hawkins County down to our I think it's in the forties. Just two old scrum mangy scrowsers. They come through down to our and got back between some corners for an hour for. Told the little one, told them, and said, Why well, we're gonna have to do something, get us some money. We're gonna starve to death. He said, well, I'll tell you what we'll do. He said, down down yonder in Dover County where we come out of. And some preachers started tent meeting. He said, that's what we'll do. He said, we ain't got no tent, but we'll just start us a meeting somewhere. Out here and we'll gather them in and we'll get us all kinds of money. That's what they done. I one of them, brother, he started each saying good and preach. He made them one night to them and sang good and preach. Had all them people, brother, gathered in there. I said, people's again saved. He made them give their heart to the Lord. Why one of them preacher, brother, got, or one of them boys got the food and one of the women coming out here? He made them, and old preacher said, You telling me they didn't get saved? I said, I'm telling you, I'm by the authority of the Word of God. The Bible said, How can you hear without a preacher? How can it preach except to be sent? That's right. That's right. Amen. You can get up and sing it. You can get up and quote it. Yeah. You can get up and say hi. Yeah. And hi. That's right. Run, bail, and jump all you want to. But if it ain't got no salt in it, it ain't worth a hill. That's right. preacher, don't tell me you don't. That's what the Bible said. said you had to have it. How can you hear without a preacher?
preacher. That's right. And that's right, brother. I'm glad yeah. the Lord sent it up like that. That bunch, brother, wants to flirt with the neighbor's wife. Amen. Amen. Tart the world. That's why, brother, when they get up, brother, amen, everybody's sitting there half dead, half asleep. Amen. And he's putting my mom pop on the bed. Got in the church. You know why, brother? We've got, brother, in the place, brother, where God cannot use us no more. Amen. 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 And uh, so Joseph was a son. He said, Boys, it wasn't y'all. Y'all didn't put me here. He said, It's the will of God is the reason that I am here. God put me here. If, if, if the Lord had not put me down here where we're at, he said, Y'all would have starved to death. You'd have died. Even though y'all thought you was a doing me evil, God put it in your heart to do that. That's right. It's all in the plan of God. Ain't that right? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. And so, but when we get in the place of God, when we get brother in that place, brother God, he, brother, he can come in our house. He can dwell in us. Right. He walk with us, as the old song says. He walks with me. He talks with me. Yeah. And he even tells me how that I'm his own. Yeah. Ain't that right? right. When we get to that place, my brother, amen. Yeah. I want to be in the place. Yeah. That's why people, brother, talk about the neighbor. Yeah. That's why they run on down. Yeah. That's why every church you go to, yeah. why somebody's trying to stir up trouble. Oh, yeah. oh right. brother, they're not in the place of God. Yeah. 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 yeah, come on. Well, I've done the best I could. Good preaching, praise the Lord. Sometimes it comes different. I believe I ain't mistaken. And I thought last night as I was reading, I, mean, I wasn't even reading in Genesis, but I was reading, and I, and I kept thinking that it kept coming back. Kept coming back. Lord, that's what you want me to preach on tomorrow night. That's what I'll preach on. Yeah, yeah. And I, if I ain't mistaken, and I don't do that, I, I don't. I, I've met preachers that preach. You know, they'll they'll get one message and they'll preach it everywhere they go. Right, right. Yeah, I, I, I try to preach the Bible. Yeah. And, and quit and and not preach my theories, opinions, right. and ideas. Right. Right. But preach what the Lord gives me. Yeah. Right. I, was, I was preaching. And it seemed like the Lord told me, he said, it wasn't too long ago, Brother Robbie. I preached on this same title up here. Yeah. I believe it did. Right. I usually don't do that. Right. And uh, there's a reason. We need to get in the place. Of God. That's right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. You know why? You know what? Look, folks. I'm, I'm just as humble as I. I don't. I don't people say, "Oh, you preach hate for mean preacher," but I don't. No. I love people. I do. I want to see people prosper and go. I do. I want to see, brother. I want to see people have that good fire in their life. Yeah. Have that good peace when they lay down. Yeah. The I'm yeah. tossing, turning. Brother, they can lay down and go to bed. Yes, sir. That's right. and, uh, that's, why I'm, uh, that's why folks go stay at the doctor. Yep, you're right. Stay yeah. at the doctor. Amen. That's right. Pumping them full of pills. That's right, Chris. That's right. That's right. That's right. We ain't going off on you, right? Oh, yeah. You're right. You're exactly right. And we are to put you out of business. <laughs> right. You're right. Right? Yeah. You don't know the most, and, I, and I, I, I really don't have the facts, but just according to what I see and what I hear, you know the most people that go to the pharmacy are the church people. 
You know what most of them go to get in their pills? Come on. Yeah. That right, something to calm them down. You know what that tells me? They're not in the place of God. That's right. That right? That's right. Everybody you see, their nerves are wrecked. That right? Come on. Come on. Have to take a pill. Everybody you see, you got something wrong with them. Stress, depressed. You know why, brother? We're not in the place of God. Amen. I remember one night, brother, I was walking around depressed. You know, I got so bad. When I, and I, ain't, I don't tell people come on, to come on. Hey, Amen. But I got so bad, Robbie. I got so depressed. I was running from God. Yeah. I was just a young man, 15. I was about 15 year old. The Lord called yeah. me to preach. I, I, when I was probably 12, 13, 14. I was somewhere there. And I really felt that when the Lord called me to preach. I was 14 year old. And uh, I got so depressed. And, and, and I thought, Lord, I, I don't want to preach. Right. And they, you know, you know what that yes. is. And well, I, it got me so down. And I started letting the devil come into my life. Yeah. And well, and after a while, he moved to me. And well, the Lord was gone. Because the Lord can't dwell where the devil's at. We right. all right. know that. Yeah. And I got so bad, so bad. I've even said to myself, Lord, have mercy. And I've even on, witnessed it. Yeah. Hey, man, how on, could somebody on, kill herself? How could they take their own life? Right. But I got so bad, brother. And I'm ashamed to say Come it. On, Chris. But Chris. I got the 12 gauge pump shotgun with a double all yeah, buck no. shell. Yeah. Yeah. I stuck it in that gun, I pumped it, I shut my bedroom door, and I turned that gun around. And I stuck that barrel in my mouth. Yeah. And when I stuck that barrel in my mouth, every devil out of hell yeah. was the same Pull bullet. Pull the yeah. Pull it. Come on, yeah. You yeah. won't do it. Come on, Chris. You ain't bad enough. Pull the trigger. Pull it. Yeah. And with everything in me, you, I took my thumb, I pushed off safety, and I went to hit that trigger. Yeah. And my old mother walked in, and she looked at me. And said, Oh God, yeah, you, don't do it, you'll go to hell. Yeah, come on. Yeah. Well. Bless you, and Chris. when she said that, That's I, good yeah. I didn't want to go to hell. Yeah, and it's a few years out of hell. Yeah. Brother Robin, Bless you, March the 20th, 2005, <laughs> on, I got in the place of God. <laughs> and I let the Lord come into my life. Bless you, Lord. Hey, baby, you know what happened? Depression left. Yeah. All of that stuff left. I yeah. ain't never wanted to kill myself no more. Come on, my brother. Bless you. Bless you. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Bless what that is, it's, a, it's facts and showing and telling. Yeah. People are not where they ought to be with God. That's right. That's right. <sighs> and uh, so if you ain't where you ought to be, Everybody says, oh, I'm, I'm ashamed to get up and go to Dollar. That's the place we've come to. That's right. That's, That's right. the place we've come That's to. That's right. The pride, about the Bible yeah. said, come up before the fall. That's right. That right we live, pride take us to hell. Yeah. Yeah. You know what people get so honored and so mad, and they know the preacher's right. They'll even let Brother, oh, oh, just a little situation bust up a church. Yeah, that's right. Right. That's right. Yeah, that's the place we come to. Right. We may right. be not so prideful that we won't admit we're wrong. That's right. And we'll vote the old time preacher out. Right. Give some coward in here. Right. He, that's right. he ain't gonna preach. No. Hey, man, you know what a preacher told me here a while come back? Hi, brother Robbie. He said, "You know what your problem is, Shanks?" I said, "No, tell me. <laughs> tell me." I, I, I was a smart ass. I said, tell me, tell me what my problem is. He said, you worry too much about what the women dress. Why, how what the women wear. I said, is that right? He said, yeah, you do. I said, how's that? He said, I've heard you preach. Yeah, I said, you know what you are? He said, what, what am I? I said, you're one of them that want to lust. You yeah. don't know why I'm racist up to the high school. You don't know why I'm low on high school. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's why you don't preach against it. Come you want to look at us. That's, right. that's right. where the place, brother. Right. Most that's of the preachers have gotten to it. That's right. 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 That's right.
which one's a man or which one's a woman. That's right. Come on, Come on. They're both got their hair blocked up to their ears. That's the Lord. Amen. You know it. Come on. 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 That's the place we got to. That's right. Yeah. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. And uh, so we got to the place where instead of using the Lord, the Bible said that there's a woman that had an issue of blood. Yeah. The Bible said there was a certain Samaritan. Y'all remember him? The Bible said there was blind men. Yeah. Two blind men in one place. Then it says one one place. One blind man, John 9, 1. Then the Bible said there was 10 lepers. Only one come back. The Bible said there's a wild man in the tomb. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. The Bible said that uh, the Lord turned the, wa the, the water into wine. Is that right? That's right. We've got to the place now. Every time we get a heartburn, Every time we get a little something wrong with us, we run to the doctor. Yeah, all right. I ain't talking about Jesus. I'm talking about to the natural doctor. Yeah, come on. Can you help me feed me a pill? Somebody feed me a pill. Right. Right. Feed right. me a pill. Right. Come on. Give me a Tylenol for a headache. A Tylenol help a headache. Well, what's it doing to your liver? That's right. Uh, it's right. right to help someone. Right. It's got to hurt someone. That's right. That's, right. that's, that's just a fact. Yeah. That's, that's the truth. Right. Right. They tell us, hey man, they tell us, hi brother, we got something wrong with us. This is where the place we've got to. We ain't got no faith in God. Right. Why? Because we ain't got to preach in the Lord. Right. Come on now. Yeah. Ain't much preaching going on. Somebody right. said, what's that got to do with faith? I quoted it a while ago. Faith come up in here and in here and come up the it. Word of God. Right. Right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Faith. faith That's how you get faith in God. It's, it's hearing what the old fashioned preachers are preaching. That's right. That's right. I ain't talking about them gower belly uh, cowards that ain't going to preach. <laughs> about, yeah, I'm talking yeah. about brother and brother that's going to preach. Yeah. Regardless. That's right. And tell it like it is. No matter what. That's right. right, brother. That's right. Amen. Yeah, that's why, brother, we quit going to the, our brother, Dr. Jesus. We, uh, we seek for the doctor in this world. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Why most people die before the time? Before the time, they rely on the doctor of the world too much instead of the Lord. Right. I'm That's talking about myself. You're right. right. Tell me right. Probably when it, when it comes, if you called me, yeah, and you said, "Chris, would you pray for me?" They told me I had cancer. Yeah, I'd pray for you. I would. Sure. And I, I, I could probably get in the place, and I have gotten a place. I, they said, oh, "I was a preaching revival." It's been a long time ago—15, 16 years ago. I was preaching revival. This old man, he come. Man, I preached that old man. He shout all over the church. Yeah. He had it. He did. Yeah. He had it. It didn't take much to get him stirred up. When he got stirred up, he felt like old old WB. Yeah. When he he didn't sing much, but when he sung, <laughs> he'd come alive. Yeah. That old man was. Yeah. When he when he get to shouting, he'd come alive. Yeah. I was preaching. That revival went on about four or five nights. And I guess about on Friday night, he quit shouting. Saturday night went. Sunday night went. Man, the Lord was as he was just seemed like I'd gotten the place God was a sitting right all over me. That old man just sitting out his head down. He quit shouting. Yeah. And I got to thinking, man. Yeah. Lord, I know what your power is. I know what your spirit is. Yeah. But they something wrong. Right. What happened to the old man? Well, I didn't know it, but on Friday, he went to the doctor over at the hospital, and the doctor told him he was eaten up from his brain to his feet. Yeah. With nothing they could do. He's already in stage four. Yeah. And he was a dying. And he didn't know it until on Friday. Yeah. His blood work come back. And uh, I, I didn't know it. Right. And that's what that's what he put the you know yeah. he hey folks he'd give me down too. Yeah. He'd give me down. Sure. Me too. He would. He'd me give too. me down. Yeah. yeah. yeah I, I ain't like hey, hey folks it made me feel like quit. Yeah. Sure. Here I am traveling for the Lord, trying to live for God. Yeah. Here I am eat up with cancer. 
What did get you done? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Oh, we're all human. Yeah. That's right. Oh. That old man come in on Monday. I guess he was. Monday night. And he's a sitting there. And the Lord laid some scripture on my heart and I read it. And as I started to preach, Robbie, yeah. if you can believe me, if you want to, I really don't care if you don't. <laughs> and I was a preacher and I was standing back here. But I almost up against the wall and the old man was sitting on the front bench over here in the corner. And I got I took on my, I took the thought. Help is on the wall, on the way. That's what a preach time. Yeah. And I got to preaching. And I was preaching, and I usually don't look at people in their eyes. Yeah. I look at your forehead, your jaws, your chin, yeah. here. But I usually don't look at people in the head, ain't that I'm scared, folks. I just don't. Yeah. And uh, that's just who I am, yeah, what I, I am. Yeah, don't be and, uh, and so uh, I was preaching. That old man, he's just sitting over there, and I got to preaching. And I just started looking up, up this way. And I could feel that good power. Come out of heaven getting on me. And I was a preacher with my eyes shut. And I opened my eyes and I looked over here. And that old man was a glowing. Amen. He, had a, he was really glowing. Yeah. I don't know if I was the only one could see it. But that old man was a glowing. About halfway through my preaching, that old man stood up while I was a preaching. And he said, Hey! I just kind of got quiet. Yeah. He said, I just want you to know. He said, and he, he started telling us about him how bad he had yeah. cancer. It's in his brain, in his lungs, everywhere. Yeah. He said, I just want y'all to know. He said, the Lord just touched me. And I have no cancer. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
I was uh, teaching, uh, teaching Bible school. It's been, I hadn't been preaching a long, long time ago. I've been preaching six months, Robbie. I didn't know nothing about it at all. Yeah. I've been coming to church all my life. I swear I'm doing church. I'd go outside. Mom and Dad make me go to church. Yeah. And uh, I, I'd, I'd sleep during church, sit back there and and carve my initials in the bank for my finger now or now. Yeah. You know what y'all know that was. Yeah. And I'd go outside and I had I'd go out there and I'd smoke cigarettes. I'd get people's car and get the cigarettes. <laughs> I'd make it to that. But uh, the Lord he uh, he'd been good to me. Yeah. 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 Man. Man, and I thought they asked me to teach Bible school. I was just a young preacher. I don't even know if I've been preaching six months. Me teach Bible school. I don't know nothing about God. Bless you. I'm just starting to preach. Yeah. Really, you know, I, I, I was reading. I was reading the Bible every night, every every morning. Get up with it and go to bed with it. I didn't know nothing about God. They want me to teach Bible school. I said, Well, I I can. I can embarrass to death. Yeah. I thought every night I teach. I thought, huh? Hey, little <coughs> kids ain't getting nothing out of what I'm teaching. They probably know more about God than I do. But I remember the last night of the Bible school, the little boy went out there and his daddy standing there. His, his daddy said, well, son, did you learn anything this week? Bless him, boy. You know what that little boy told his daddy? He said, daddy, just the same old stuff. <laughs> just the same old stuff. You know what? That's all it is. That's all it is. <laughs> hey, Amen. Yeah, but it gets better. Hey, better. 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 I've never got tired of somebody telling me no. about that man and walking hey, short hey, hey, hey. Never got tired of them telling me yeah. about that man that, that reached cool. his hunt long arm down one night yeah. when I was a lost Bless you, young Chris. man yeah. and say, I've never, I've never got tired of hearing that. Amen. So if you're here tonight and get the place, come on, Chris. That's good. Let me invite you. Now. Yeah. yeah. Here tonight, you got a problem. Yeah, come on. Well, I, I really feel like somebody needs to pray. Yeah. You hear That's tonight, you got a problem. I ain't talking about, it Don't it ain't always sin and right. failure. Yeah. Just if you've got a problem. Yeah, bring it to me. That's too big for you to carry. Bless you, Lord. Let me invite you down right. to this place. You can get your problems.